Okay, Rich Van Tassel back with you as the news keeps coming. Just saw that uh, Lawrence Phillips, for those of you who don't remember who Lawrence Phillips uh, was now, uh, he was a running back. He was a big-time running back at uh, the University of Nebraska before going pro. Certainly had his problems, and uh, he was serving a 25-to-life sentence uh, for killing somebody. And he was found dead today in his prison cell, uh, suspicion of suicide. Uh, that's what they believe. He took his own life. Now, for Lawrence Phillips, this guy is like the classic example of why the NFL goes through all their character uh, things when they're drafting players. There were big-time questions about Lawrence Phillips coming out of Nebraska. Um, the Rams were the ones who took him. Uh, they took him in the first round, that is. He was a big-time talent. You No one can deny that, but... Uh, I've heard Mel Kuyper, this was a few years ago, probably about five, six years ago, he was saying that he was on record at that time that he would not draft Lawrence Phillips because of the character concerns, and certainly uh, he was proved right because of that. This is a guy who had all sorts of issues, um, disagreements with coaches, drug problems. He uh, ran over some people outside of McDonald's at one point. Uh, it was very, uh, very much just a guy who couldn't get his act together. And um, certainly I can't really cast aspersions or throw stones because uh, I don't live in a glass house. I've certainly had my issues in the past as well. So nobody's perfect, but there comes a time when you simply have to get your act together. And he was never able to do so, and he was serving time. And just recently he was in the news because of a suspicion he had murdered someone in prison. Now, um, prison is one of those things... You know, they talk about, well, guys kill somebody in prison or have assaults. You know, there was talk about Aaron Hernandez. He was getting in a fight in prison. Well, unfortunately, that's what you have to do in prison. I never really am going to fault somebody for that or just immediately hold fault to them, I should say. Uh, if you Because there are just cold-blooded murders in prison as there are anywhere else. So certainly you can't condone that. But, um, you know, violence happens in prison. Sometimes you have to fight to protect yourself. So I'm not going to immediately be like, oh, my God, look at this. This is what happened. Because you don't know exactly what the facts of the situation were. Uh, there was talk as well following that that he was going to go on trial and could possibly face the death penalty. I don't know if that's why he chose to take his own life because of what he was facing. But who knows? Uh, no matter what, God rest his soul. You know, he was not a perfect person, but none of us are. So hopefully he uh, was able to find forgiveness before the end. That's all you can ever hope for with a guy like that. Certainly he, um, many people wouldn't think he deserves it. I, you know, as a Christian, I do. You have to uh, be willing to accept anyone who has the forgiveness. A lot of Christians don't do that. Um, but unfortunately, that's what you have to do. It's just the Christian way. So hopefully uh, God is guiding his soul now. But uh, off of that... We just wanted to make that point, do the quick video about that, and uh, for anyone who ever wonders about uh, character concerns, I've never been the biggest fan of all the, th the scrutiny they put these guys through um, in the draft. Certainly, they put a lot of scrutiny on things that have nothing to do with, you know, off-the-field criminal things. You know, they put a lot of scrutiny on demeanor, things like that. But uh, this is especially relevant with a guy like Johnny Manziel in the news. Hopefully, he doesn't follow the same path as Lawrence Phillips. So let's hope, uh, for everyone's sake, that Manziel can get his act together. But this is why you have the character issues, as we discussed before. It primarily focuses from Lawrence Phillips. So rest in peace, Lawrence Phillips, and we will see you all later in the week. Thank you.